Hot Top technicians explained the installation plan to the owner in detail on site, answered the owner's questions, and showed the owner's installation tools and the materials. The water drill stand, foaming agent, hand angle grinder, m screw, handheld impact drill, grinder, glass glue, water drill bit, pipe wrench, lever ruler, water drill, expansion bolt, and other tools. On the construction side, hot top professional installers accurately fixes and marks each mounting hole according to the design drawings on the wall to avoid unreasonable installation position and unnecessary elbow connection. At the same time, actively communicate with the owner that the outdoor inlet hole should be at least 1500mm away from other exhaust holes. The positioning of the indoor installation hole should be fully considered in later decoration. The installation hole is drilled with a professional drill. The installation hole must not be opened anywhere near the crossbeam, the pillar, the load bearing structure and avoid the lines embedded in the wall. Holes opened on the beam should not be larger than one third of the beam height. If drilling hole is not allowed, the lintel duct should be used. Don't drill the hole against the regulations or flatten the flexible duct. When installation hole is opened to outside, it should be tilted, inclination 1% to 1/50 to prevent rainwater from entering. According to the design of the ducts, fix all the clamps and pre-assemble the pipeline and the pipe fitting on the ground. Equipment should be hoisted in areas where people are not active, such as storage room, kitchen, bathrooms. Before installing the equipment, check carefully whether the electric system and other components of the equipment are in good conditions. Pre-connect the power cord and control line, then determine the location of installation according to the actual conditions, including power connection, the maintenance, and the layout. Use the expansion board to fix the fittings to the molding service with M10 screws. After the equipment is hoisted, adjust the length of the lifting boards to ensure that the space between the underside of the equipment body and the ceiling. The top of the equipment body and the ceiling boards is more than 25 mm. Also, please ensure the equipment body to be in level. When the air outlet of the equipment is directly connected to the pipe fittings, it should be treated with professional sealant to avoid leakage. The equipment outlet and piping must be connected by a hose not less than 1.5 meters. Holes and piping should be secured with the pipe clamps and should not be wrapped with plain tape. When the indoor piping and pipe fittings are directly connected, it should be hoisted after pre-assembly on the ground. When the indoor piping and fittings cannot be directly used, it is recommended to use a hose to connect. In order to avoid excessive wind resistance in the system and sudden changes in the section of the duct, it is advisable to use a gradual connection. It is recommended to use small wind resistance pipe fittings such as 45 elbows and Y-type teeth. After the pipeline is installed, pass the direction label accordingly to facilitate subsequent maintenance. Equipment protection must be done after equipment and piping are installed. The equipment should be protected by a lightweight material to avoid scratches to the panel. The reserved air outlets should be sealed with special pipe fittings to prevent dust from entering the interior of the fresh air system during renovation. After the renovation is completed, Hot Top customer service personnel will make an appointment with the owner again for air outlet installation and equipment commissioning. The air inlet and the pipeline are not allowed to be connected directly, where a hose is required for connection.
After turning on the device, press and hold the power button to start a running test. Adjust the air volume regulating valve on the air outlet or on the pipeline. And repeatedly measure the air volume of each air outlet to ensure the actual air volume of each room reach the design value. Test the various functions of the device and observe whether the device is operating normally. Finally, the hot top technicians explain to the owner the main points of using the equipment and the daily maintenance. Lastly, the owner is required to sign and confirm the installation.